to set leading zeros to show up in an Excel spreadsheet. When you type telephone numbers often into a spreadsheet or product codes for that, for example, maybe I've got a telephone number like that, it's a mobile number, and when I've typed it in, Excel removes the leading zero that I quite clearly typed in. Now I would like that leading zero to stay there so that I can use it later. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to create a custom number format to do just that. First of all, we're going to select the cells we want that custom format to apply to. So I'm just going to select those. You could, of course, select the whole spreadsheet by clicking up there. I'm then coming over to the number group on the ribbon and I'm, I could I go here from drop this down and choose more number formats or I can click the little box in the corner. Now I'm using Excel 2010 here. If you're using an older version, you'll go to the format menu and choose cells and then come into number. And down at the bottom, we have the custom number format. As you can see, we start off with a general format and then we have a leading zero. Now that's not enough by itself. I also have to tell Excel how many digits are going to come along after that leading zero. So there's my zero and the symbol for a digit is a hash sign or a pound if you're American. So 07946, da, 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 that's a mobile number. I'll click OK and that applies that custom format to these cells. And now when I type in my mobile number, my leading zero is there. Again, my number stays put. Create a custom format by going into number, custom, a leading zero, and the number of digits that you want to follow. So following on from that, if it was a product code, you'd simply add the number of digits and a couple of hyphens if you wanted them. Creating a custom number format in Excel 2010.